Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Seven Days to Die. Today, we are still preparing for the Day 49 Horde. I did a little bit of work around the outside of the base, clearing grass and whatnot, so I can get ready for the minefield. I'm looking for another battery. I'd like to get at least one more of those mobile spotlights on so I can get that last side covered. Let me search this real quick. Mm, trash. But anyway, like I was saying, I want to get that last side covered and possibly even a second one to put on top. Yeah, I know. There's a zombie somewhere. Where are you at? Must be inside. Okay, but a second one to uh, maybe put on one of those large rocks outside to kind of extend the range. Because when it gets dark, it's going to get dark. And I'm not going to be able to see a whole lot. Get off me. Of course, they're going to pop out up everywhere now that I'm working on these cars. Come on, people. Just need a battery here. You stay away from me. I need an adult. She has that look in her eye. Oh, well. Oh, get off me. I uh, hate you, stupid, infected. Man, there sure is a lot of these guys. Did I get a battery yet? No, not a battery. Let me turn all that into cloth. I don't want the paper. Get off me. Get off of me. Alright, dude. I'm tired of you coming up on me. Go ahead and turn my light on. Get wrecked. Need to keep working on these cars. Let me search it. Nope. Nothing I want. Uh-huh. I got a motor. I'm run over here, double check my stuff. Ooh, a purple motor. Well <clears throat> not perfect, but it will do. Stay down, fatty. Okay. Try to get one or two more cars done really quick. And then we're going to get out of here. I don't want that. Throw that down. Why are you over here bugging me? Ooh, I'm taking those. Gotta have our candy tins, guys. Alright. Come on, battery. That motor will probably either go for the chainsaw or maybe even a new mini bike. Haven't decided yet, guys. Come on, give me something good. Got another motor. And 
What else do I got? Nothing? No, there's nothing. Alright, guys. Well, give me a few minutes to get back to the base, and we will go from there. And we're back, guys. Now, let's see. Let me put some of my stuff away. I know I really need to organize this. Mm, what else? Put that in there. Uh, okay. Radiator. Mm, what else do I got? What else do I got? Okay, we'll just throw this leather in here. Throw the cloth in here. I guess we'll save the couple goldenrod. Um What else guys? What else? Everything's so jumbled. I'm not sure. I can take those. Put the headlights away. Um, what else do we got? Put these short iron pipes away. Okay, well I think that's going to do it for the moment. Uh, let's go downstairs. Now I think if I don't get another battery... I think I'm going to end up saving the one battery that I do have at the other bunker for a bike. And I'm just going to build a couple little towers, throw a couple torches on them, and leave it at that if I can't find one. Now let's go in here, and we will see what we've been working on. As y'all can see, I've got the room concreted out right here. Well, the hallway room, whatever you want to call it. Uh, start oil in here, and yes, I have already been here and put my engines away earlier, but I wanted to start up there, so anyway, we are going to start headed down deeper right here. So, I do have a few steps, and I got plenty of rebar frames on me. Here's my other concrete. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yes, just like that. We'll go down one. And now I gotta make more. Okay, let's see. I need five. Let's start with five. Sounds like a reasonable number. All right. And I need to dig that out right there. Okay. Not a problem, guys. Not a problem. And just like that. Ta-da. Now we have steps going down. <laughs> Now, I'm not sure how deep I want to lead it just yet. Uh, we might make it deeper than it is. I don't know. I mean, right now, you can still kind of see the door right there. So, I kind of like to take it a little bit deeper. And I don't know if I want to, like, have it come back around on itself and maybe go, like under this so that I could use this floor as like the ceiling of the next one and kind of save a little bit of room here or what I want to do exactly but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the concrete that I do have and 
start building walls in here guys so give me a few minutes and i'll get back with y'all all right guys we are back got a little bit of this dug out i'm gonna go ahead and solidify it still not sure what i want to do as far as going deeper or not that's why I only dug out just a section. Uh, let's see, let me go ahead and get this. But we are to right here. So we are doing good. We've got a little bit of little bit going down. I will figure out what I want to do with it later. Right now we're going to unload some of the stuff we got. Since we got so much. Um, since it's night time and we can't go out guys. Let's run up. And let's work on our mines. Try to get those going. Come on let me out here. And we can see just how many we can actually do. We'll need our gunpowder. We're going to need... We got scrap metal. Okay, we got our candy tins. There's some hubcaps. Okay, let me double check this side. I'm not seeing anything there. Let me run outside and check the box that we have out on there. Come on, get up there. Um, no, we don't have any tins or anything out here. Okay. So this is what we got to work with right here, guys. Wrong floor. Next floor. Alright, let's see then. Mines. Okay, hubcap mines. Make all of those. Candy tin mines. Make all of those. Alright, this is going to be awesome, guys. Not going to have the biggest mine filled, but we are going to have... A nice little show. I can almost guarantee you that. And there we go. Alright, so we will have 24 of the candy tins, 8 of the hubcaps, and 52 of the air filter mines. Now, I don't really see a difference in them. Let's see. Hold on. Um, the only thing I can see is forge weight. That's the only difference I really see. Mass is all the same. Max load, hardness, all that's the same. So... I would like to say the candy tins are the weakest, I know for sure. And then I think it goes to the hubcaps and then the air filters. But I'm not 100% sure if that's the way... If that's the actual order of it. Because, I don't know, the hubcaps just look larger to me, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. Let's go ahead and eat a little bit get our wellness up some so what I think I'll do is I'll probably end up I don't know do I want do I want to do the air filter mines as the last mine or do I want to do those as the first mine probably want to do those closer to the actual base just because. Do I have any forged iron over here? 
I do have a little bit. Let me see something here. I also wanted to do the barbed wire just to see just to see what that was all about. I can make one. Is that literally one barbed wire or is that three? That is literally one barbed wire. So I'm going to need a lot of forged metal to do that. Okay. Okay, well we will look into getting that because I'd like to surround the perimeter in barbed wire. So as you can see, that area is dark. If they come from that area, I just won't be able to see them at all. I can kind of see them if they come from here. I can kind of see. I'd like to put a, another spotlight right there on that rock. Or maybe on that rock shining this way to kind of illuminate it. Uh, I don't know if y'all can really see or not, guys. But I did beat the grass back. Okay, if I had my light on, it might help. I did beat the grass back a little ways. So, I think this is going to be our landmine area all the way around. Um, I'm just going to take this down. I'm not, I'm not using it for anything. I'm going to pick up these few rocks. But I do think this is what we're going to end up having. Is we're just going to use this area over here. Like I said, if I need to... I can make some torches and put over here. You know, it's nighttime. Let me grab some stuff, make some torches, just to see how it illuminates. I might toss them on these rocks and everything, just as kind of a visual reference here. Yeah, let's just take a couple. Uh, torch. And... There we go. Alright, let me run out here. I'm going to place a torch just to see what it looks like on this rock. Okay. Turn my light off and look over there. Uh, it's a little bit. Not too much. I mean, I guess if that's all I had going for me, I guess that would be better than better than nothing I mean let's go ahead and throw down a couple oh there's a rock right there I didn't see it Turn my light off, and yeah, that doesn't illuminate a whole lot. Better than nothing, but and that one right here, we're kind of floating, but that's okay. see it from a distance here. See, now that one's not too bad. With the spotlight, I can kind of see a little bit more now if they were to come around it, so that's not too bad. And I think... Mm. I think, honestly, I need to come, like, right here. And put a small little tower. And place a couple on it. Let me see. How much did that help? Mm, that helped a little bit. Let me go ahead and solidify that and then we will come right about here and right there ought to work and we will do a 
another tower. I make it just a tad bit higher. And we will put one on each side here. Let me run back over here, turn that off. Yeah, I can kind of see now. So I guess that's what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to leave up a couple of these towers, a couple torches on some of these rocks, and I think that that should help. Really should. Like I said, I'm still going to try to get another spotlight so that I can aim back there, but if I don't, well, this is what we got. So, until next time, guys. Keep on surviving.